like most parents, I think Linda and I, when we were raising our kids, you know, they're college age now, but when they were younger, you're concerned about, you know, who they hang with, who their friends are, who they associate with, um, as far as friends go. And we developed over the years a, a question which, it, it, it's simple, but it, it's very, very effective as to determining um, what this person was like, you know, what the friend was like. So we would ask the kids, is this friend Thanksgiving worthy? And by Thanksgiving worthy, we meant, are you proud enough and comfortable enough of this friend to bring them to Thanksgiving dinner with mom and dad and sisters and brothers and grandma and grandpa? I mean, are they the kind of person that you would bring in to, to Thanksgiving? And uh, uh, we know we used it for, for years and years and years. It's almost a, a running joke in our family now, but it was very, very effective. And I think it must have worked because the kids, well, they turned out to be you know, pretty good kids. And, uh, uh, and, and we're proud of them. And now on the real estate side, I, I think that this applies as well, is you know, are you, as a real estate agent, are you Thanksgiving worthy to your clients? Um, and by that I mean, um, are they comfortable enough and proud enough of you and the relationship with you to refer more business your way? And, uh, and you know, that's kind of the key to our business is, is um, having other people refer business to us. So, uh, you know, here's, here's kind of three things that I've developed over the years to you know, kind of help ensure that you are Thanksgiving worthy to your clients. Uh, as a broker of the company, I do get a number of calls from customers who are not totally happy with their real estate agents. And uh, it, not just our company, I think it's just, you know, across the board, these things do happen. And whether it's in real estate or in, in any industry, um, so you know, here's some maybe some uh, some thoughts on how to make sure that you are Thanksgiving worthy uh, and worthy of getting referrals to your your customers. One of the biggest complaints that I get, and I'm trying not to be too negative on this, I'm trying to make it a positive, but uh, the, the the comments are um, that agents are not getting back to them when they call or when they email or or text or however clients are trying to get a hold of you. Uh, sometimes the tendency is to um, ignore it and, and hope that it goes away. And, and trust me, it's not going to go away. In, in fact, the situation gets worse. You know, if your clients want to talk to you, they do want to talk to you. And ignoring them, uh, it just it's, it makes it worse. And eventually, you know, you're you're going to lose that business, and you're certainly not going to get the referral from it. So, um, you know, so on, on the reactive side of, of the business. When someone calls you and wants information, be prompt. Get back to them right away. Um, and even if it's unpleasant, I mean, you know, part of our business is unpleasant, and you know, we have to give you know not great news uh, to our clients, but they are our clients, and we need to act professional I I at all times, and, and, and get back to them, and just be square with them, and tell them the truth. You know, not uh, not be blowing smoke at them, but but get back to them. That's the point of that one. Um, and the other. Uh, point I would want to make here is is on the proactive side. Communicate with your clients, uh, especially feedback. You know, I hear a, a good number of comments that they've had clients have had a showing and they've never heard anything from, from the agent. And yes, you know, we use showing solutions, so you've got that automatic, uh, automated form that goes out. But I think, you know, clients want more. They want their agent, because they're paying you good money, to contact the other agent uh, ask some more questions, get some more information, and, and get it back to you know your client in a, in a timely fashion. Um, but anything you can do that's, that's proactive, talking to your clients on a real regular basis, uh, letting them know what you know, and even if you don't know anything, sometimes just call them up uh, to keep communi communication going so that they're not calling you. And the third one, which just blows my mind, is um, agents not following up after the sale. You know, considering that, okay, the, the closing's happened, it's a done deal, and never contact the client again. You know, this is someone who's worked with you, and if that experience has been, um, has been good, and you are Thanksgiving worthy, you know, they're going to tell their friends. But so many agents um, just let it die right there. And again, I, I just can't believe that, you know, that happens. One of the things that I uh, really recommend to clients or to agents is after the sale is done, Send out a little questionnaire to your client and ask them how you performed. And if you want to get specific, you know, how did you did you uh, negotiate? How did you market? Um, you know, and rank your, uh, your your efforts numerically. 
we all need to grow. You know, this is a business where, you know, you're not all of that in a bag of chips all the time. So, you know, we do need to hear the negative feedback as much as the positive feedback um, and become better agents because of it. Uh, so, you know, these are just three simple, simple, basic um, customer relations 101 type of activities, but it is the things that I hear the most from customers when they're not happy with their agents. So, you know, uh, bottom line is if you're not Thanksgiving worthy with your clients, yeah, you just might go hungry. <laughs>